Hey, I'm Gandalf. Just kidding, I'm the Entry Manola. Now, I may not be a wizard, but I really am one when it comes to atoms. I was born in a small village in the more rural part of Siberia. So my parents, Ivan and Maria Mendelev. I was the youngest of my three siblings. Um, and at a young age, I was constantly encouraged by my mother into Christian orthodoxy. So I, uh, I, I attended a Christian school for the next 13 years of my life. Unfortunately, my dad passed away in a tragic uh, fire that burned down my mother's factory as well. My mother then brought me to, wait, was it? Yeah, my mother then brought me to Moscow with an aim of getting me a better education. But unfortunately, the University of Moscow didn't accept me. So after the rejection, my family then relocated to St. Petersburg, which there I was fortunate enough to get accepted into the University of St. Petersburg. After I became a professor in my mother's school, I wrote a series of two books explaining the basic principles of chemistry. I I also proved the existence of chlorine, potassium, calcium, bromine, rubidium, strontium, iodine, cesium, and barium. This is why quite a lot of people consider me one of the one of the founding fathers of the periodic table. Now, after my fellow friend Julius Lothar Mayer, of course, well, I guess I could consider him my baby since you know I didn't have any because my wife was, you know, just mental. Now, I also found out a lot of other things as well. I proposed the idea that uh, I proposed the idea of several other elements. For example, was it it was beryllium and chromium? And later, my scientific my scientific studies on that led to the discovery of germanium and gallium. Now, during my studies, I found out that there is a special pattern amongst all of the elements. So I dive into depth and wrote a book. In, in 1869 called the dependence between the properties of the atomic weight of the elements. And in the book, I describe how the atomic weight and the valence ratio affected what category the element was in. It was pretty, it's pretty complicated, so you know, I'll just skip it because, you know, you guys aren't smart enough. Well, most people think, oh, how could you be so successful? Uh, how could you be really successful if you don't win any medals? Well, I guess, guess what? I have a whole university and award named after me. I also have a dedicated sculpture in some place in Slovakia, which is kind of weird, because anyway, that, that sculpture looks nothing like me. I mean, just look at it. The beard needs more fluff. All right.